Hi, this is Jesse Luna with jessiluna.com and today I'm going to show you how to create a QR code for each of your blog posts automatically. In case you don't know what a QR code, it's a code just kind of like like on a bar scanner that you see on products. Well, uh, a barcode is one type of code. This is a new type of code that you might start seeing on products, even billboards. They're starting to become pretty popular. You can use these to allow somebody to scan in uh, that image using their cell phone if they have a QR reader. But let's go ahead and jump back and see how we can add that to our blog post. That way if somebody goes to our blog and they're viewing from the regular website, they'll be able to go to the bottom of your blog post, see the QR code, it's not there yet, and then kind of zap it in with their cell phone and then they have the exact same blog post on their mobile device. It's another way to distribute your content. So we're going to go ahead and see how we can do that. First of all, we're going to jump into our admin panel here. Once again, this is using a WordPress.org custom install blog. And I'm already logged into the dashboard and I clicked on appearance. And once you click on appearance, you'll see editor. Yes, we're going to mess around with the theme editor and by default you'll see the style sheet we actually want to go to the single post so I'm going to click on the single post link there on the right and we'll see the nitty-gritty details of what that single post uh, PHP and HTML code looks like so what we want to do is we want to scroll down and I've already done a lot of customizations to this so it might not look exactly like your theme and here we are just just beyond where it says article content we're going to go in there and paste in some code I already have that in my clipboard BAM so I went ahead and entered that and the main way that this kinda works is, is that we're making a call to a Google Chart API which will automatically build this image on the fly. Pretty cool. So that's all we need to do. So we added that once again to the single post uh, theme sheet and now we're ready to update. I click the update file. So now just with that little piece of code that we just added, we should be able to go in there and now see that QR code automatically added for that blog post and there it is so now if I take my cell phone uh, you can't see me doing that right now but I'm actually gonna go to my screen right now and you can do this too if you have a QR code reader on there just going in there and and there it is I'm using the AT&T code reader scanner and uh, it just brought up the whole link. It says, do you want to open in web page? I hit yes. And that will open up my QR code reader. And then I can navigate to that on my phone. There's another way to add a QR code to, your, to each of your pages. And that's by using the plugin. So I actually did that with uh, my other blog. And what I did is I installed a plugin called the Super Cool QR Code uh, plugin. And once you install that plugin, it gives you the option to add uh, one of these widgets, which is called a Super Cool QR Code uh, widget. So you just come over here like your other widgets, and you can drag that onto your sidebar. And uh, you go ahead and change the title if you want. And let's take a look to see what that looks like here we are on the blog that has the widget on there and here it is this is the QR code and if you use a plugin you don't have to go into the theme you don't have to muck around with anything this also works on any page so right now we're actually on a specific blog post but if you went to the home page that would also um, update that page as well and let's take a look at that 
and there it is also. If you went in once again with your cell phone, with the QR code reader, zap that, that would take you to the home page or whatever page that you're on. So we just reviewed two ways to add a QR code to your WordPress blog, either on the sidebar as a widget or as we did over here to add it to the end of your blog post. You can put it wherever you think it'll get most traction, maybe attract people and uh, get them over to their mobile phone. Hopefully they'll bookmark you. This is Jesse Luna for jessieluna.com and hope you enjoyed this tutorial.